What's up dudes and dudettes, it's Sui, and if you're my friend you can call me Sue Dizzle or Sue Dog. And we're back on Fallout 76, and yes, before you say it, I know, it's supposed to be a Code Vein video today, but you know what, I felt like doing 76 today. I will do a Code Vein video next week, so my bad on that. But today we're doing Fallout 76, why? Because I felt like it. So, today I wanted to go over one of the legendary effects, or legendary prefixes, um, whichever term you prefer to use. I like effect, but prefix is also, I believe is the, the correct term? I don't know. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Executioners. Why I want to go over this is because there's a little bit more to it than just the 50% damage at 40% health or less. Because most of the time you'll look at it on the books and see 50%, okay, but doesn't Junkies also do that? Doesn't Aristocrats also do that? Well, yes and no. On paper, yes. In reality, no. So we'll go ahead and dive into that. So let's go ahead and get to it. So here we are on our testing grounds, the West Tech facility. West Tech is home to a bunch of super mutants and super mutant hounds, most of the time level scaled at their max. So they are the perfect test dummy as they don't really have a lot of armor. Well, they, they, they have some, but again, in terms of like damage to damage ratio, the most accurate you're gonna get is from them. So. The Super Mutants is a perfect call for it. Also, it's the place to farm XP, so that's also a good note. So let's go ahead and get into the weapon and the build, and talk about more the the factors that go into the Executioner's Legendary Effect. So first and foremost, the build. We are using a full health VATS build. Your standard VATS perks, your Rifleman perks, because I, I like rifles and the concentrated fire of course pretty much the usual stuff you would use for vats uh no no take one for the team or um follow through we're just doing this straightforward now for the weapon the weapon is going to be a two star executioner's explosive prime handmade because i prefer to run explosive or crit damage on my on my um semi-automatic weapons as they're not automatic, so that little bit of extra edge is needed to keep up in comparison to commando builds. But yeah, we run the Executioners and Explosive. So we get 20% extra damage off of the Explosion, which used with Demolition Expert would net you 32% more damage. So that, on top of the already present Executioners effect, is quite nice. So what is unique about Executioners, you're wondering? Well. So if you look about it on paper, it's 50% damage when your target is at 40% health or below, right? But Sui, doesn't Junkies give you 50%? Give you doesn't Aristocrats give you 50%? Can't you get more than that from Bloodied? Well, yes, yes, and yes. However, this is where the additive and multiplicative factors come in. Sui, what the hell is that? Okay, well, let's get into it. So additive is something, for example, let's say your weapon has 60 damage flat right and you're getting a 50% additive damage increase well you are getting 50% of that base value without your cards taken into consideration without buffs taken into consideration you're just getting your flat 30 extra damage because it is additive it adds on to the base that's it so junkies aristocrats bloodied the damage is additive as compared to where Executioners is multiplicative, a damage value that is taken into consideration after the factor of your damage cards and or buffs are done calculating, which usually ends up in more damage, which is why some confusion is there, like, oh, if it has the same damage as Aristocrats and Junkies, why is it doing more? And that is why. Because one is additive, one is multiplicative. Adrenal reaction is also multiplicative, so the damage you get from Adrenal Reaction also comes into play of giving you more damage than what you would normally get. So yeah, that is the quick rundown on Additive and Multiplicative. Executioners is popular because its damage is multiplicative. Which, again, is calculated after all your damage buffs are applied, such as your damage cards and or anything else you use. So, let's go test the damage out on these, on these muties and just give a little display. 
And uh, speaking of buffs, our buff of choice is Psycho Buff. 3 Strength, 3 Endurance, 25% damage, and 65 max health for 6 minutes with Chem Fiend. So yeah, this is our buff of choice when doing damage test runs, because it's just awesome. So just a quick note on what buffs I am using. It is Psycho Buff. So that was our damage test on the super mutants outside of West Tech. So that's the wonders of Executioner. There are many damages, well, damage uh, influences, buffs, or stuff like that to take into consideration, such as the psycho buff applied, the a general reaction damage increase we get, which is multiplicative from having less health whenever we get to that point, as well as the Executioner's bonus coming in, which again is multiplicative. So Executioner's is pretty popular, but of course it's not the best. It's good on bosses when they're low. Um, but other than that, it's you know it's good, just not great. You know most people prefer the straightforward, bloodied or anti-armor junkies or aristocrats instead of you know damage that has a condition, you know a health percentage condition, especially when some enemies have pretty low health to begin with. But still. Executioners has a purpose, and oh, oh, there's my uh, camp ally. But yeah, Executioners has a purpose. You, you might as well give it a try. If you like it, good. If you don't, then you don't. It's all good. So yeah, that's been a quick overview and look at Executioners and the significance of its damage increase and the difference it has. And with that, that's going to go ahead and tie up this video on a quick review of the Executioner's Legendary Effect or Prefix, whichever term you prefer. So yeah, I do intend to do more of these, of course, because I do like playing Fallout 76 quite a bit. But even that within itself is a bit of an understatement. Hello there, robot. But yeah, I like doing videos on this game. Of course, not too heavily, but I like doing them enough. Next upload, though, of course, I will be sure to put up Code Vein next week. Along with another 76 video, of course. <laughs> but yeah, as you know, my name is Sui, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.